Hi, this is Matt Saturnus for Plugged In Golf. And in this second video on ball flight, I'm going to explain why the ball curves. Let's get plugged in. Before I get into explaining what makes the ball curve, there are two things I want to clear up. The first is the terms open and close. They get thrown around a ton in golf instruction and uh, some people use them in a way that's really confusing. The thing I want to clarify is that open and closed are relative terms. For example, if the camera was my target, this club face might be open to my target, but it could be closed relative to my path. My path could be way over here, so it would be closed or more left than the path. Uh, so we have to be clear about what we're referencing when we're saying, oh, the face was open, the face was closed, relative to what? So that's the first thing. The second thing is when people say path curves the ball, path doesn't curve the ball, not by itself anyway. So let's go ahead and get into the definition of what does curve the ball? So what does curve the ball? What curves the ball is the relationship between the path and the face. So I'm gonna use this rod here to illustrate the club path and I've got my, my lie angle tool here to illustrate the club face. So we said that the ball is gonna start generally where the face is pointed. Now technically it's gonna start between the club and the, the club face and the path. So Let's say I have a club face or a club path, excuse me, that is pointed straight to the target. And I had a club face over here. Well, the ball is going to start somewhere between these two lines and it's going to curve toward the face or away from the path. So in this case, the ball is going to start out to the right of the camera and it's going to keep curving further right of the camera. If I move that club face over here, I would just have the opposite ball flight. The ball would start to the left and it would curve further left. Now, if I wanted to turn that ball flight into a cut that would come back towards the camera, I'd have to take this path and move it out here to the left of the club face. So now again, the ball would start still left of camera, but it would curve back to the right because it would curve back towards the face or away from the path. Now over in the article on PluggedInGolf.com, I've illustrated all nine ball flights from pull hooks to push fades and the path face relationship necessary to create all those different shots. And once you have that knowledge and that understanding, now you can go to the range and understand your ball flight on another higher level because you're going to understand why the ball is curving. So for example, if you're that slicer we talked about in the first video, whose ball starts to the right and then keeps going to the right, well you know that not only does that face point to the right because the ball started over there, but your path is somewhere left of your face because the ball is starting between the path and the face and then curving back towards the face. If you have any questions about ball flight, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And definitely keep an eye out for the next three videos in this series on ball flight. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can also follow Plugged In Golf on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out PluggedInGolf.com for more great golf content. This has been Matt Saturnus. Thanks for watching.